Shabbat Shalom. This week we read from Parshat Vaera, the beginning of the narrative of the ten plagues, which Moshe and Aharon brought to Pharaoh in Egypt, until Pharaoh finally agreed to let our people go. I trust we all remember the delightful ritual from our Passover Sedarim of dipping our little fingers into a cup of wine and removing a drop of wine for each plague. Dam, Tzvardeya, Kinim, blood, frogs, locusts, except it is not frogs in the plural. The Hebrew word is Tzvardeya in the singular. Now why would it be singular? Well, I think that that's taken from a quirk in the Hebrew text of the Bible in Parshat Vaera that we read this week. In the discussion about the second plague, all throughout the story, the plague is referred to as the plague of Tzvardayim, of the frogs, except in one verse except in the verse that describes what Aaron actually did. That he lifted up his rod over the rivers and the canals and the ponds. Vaya'al Hatzvadea, and he brought up the frog in the singular. That led two of the great rabbis of the second century, Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah, to read this verse in two different ways. Rabbi Akiva said that it is in the singular Tzvardeya because in fact the plague was one frog. One giant frog that covered the entire land of Egypt. Sort of like the the marshmallow man from, from Ghostbusters, you remember? One frog, giant enormous, covering the entire land. Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah said it was one frog. It was a tiny frog. But this frog whistled and all the other frogs followed out of the water to cover the land of Egypt. Obviously both of these rabbis are talking symbolically. What do they mean? Well I think that Rabbi Akiva meant that sometimes we confront people who are so disagreeable, who are so needy, so narcissistic and negative, that they take up the entire room. It's as if they take up all the oxygen in the room. And wherever they are, all attention has to be focused on that one person, like the frog in Egypt, who covered the entire land. And if this person is unhappy, they make sure to make everyone else miserable. I'm sure we all know people like this. And I hope that none of us are a person like this. And to the second idea of Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria, there are people who are charismatic, but with a charisma not for a positive effect, but on the contrary. They use their charisma to whistle and make a number of people follow them in their evil desires to make everyone miserable. Either way, whether it's one person alone or one person leading a whole flock of frogs, the plague starts with just one. And as we enter into this Shabbat, and as we enter into every Shabbat, may we make sure that we are neither that one frog who takes up all the air in the room, nor that other frog who follows someone else in making other people unhappy and in bringing pain into the world. Let us not be part of that plague, which still continues to this day. Shabbat Shalom, and may you have Aziz and Shabbos.